I is a near close, near front, lax vowel, I. It's normally spelt with one I between two consonants, so uh, pin, sit, but it can have some other spellings too, like in rhythm. That's when it's strong. When it's weak, there are loads of different spellings for it. Uh, think of cottage, chicken, there are lots. So it can be a strong or a weak vowel sound. Its position is um, can be a little bit tricky because it's a little bit central. Um, it's not quite in the corner of the mouth and it forms a trio of vowels that are like that. That's I, uh, and U. Uh. So you have to kind of control the tongue there. It can't go right to the corner. Shouldn't be fully central either. I. But in some accents it's different. So in Brumi, for example, uh, it's more to the front in Klaus. So uh, seat and pin. Uh, in Scaus, uh, it's more open and to the front, so uh, it's more like e, uh, pen, and set. Um, and in general American, uh, it's more uh, more open actually, and more central. It's more more like a schwa. So uh, pen and set. Um, so that does have a range of positions um, in that. Uh, sort of in between the uh, central schwa and the uh, front corner. There are quite a range of positions. But for the GB version, you're going for something like this. I. Um, it does actually merge with the schwa in some weak positions. So if you think of a word like furthest, could be furthest. Think of uh, believe, could be believe. Both are absolutely fine. Um, even with like an, e, uh, an ED ending, like in wanted, that could be wanted, you know. Um, I think there's a tendency these days to use the schwa more, but both are um, absolutely fine. Um, one other thing about this sound that's quite interesting is that we're starting to get this uh, long monophthong version of it. So if you think of words like uh, fear and cheers, um, they're often described as being a, a centering diphthong, but that's kind of smoothed now to uh, fear and cheers uh, in the same way that air did to air and uh, or did before to or. So we might end up with uh, actually a trio of vowels with this symbol, the, sh the, the, the weak i, the short i, and the long i. Um, and that's probably the most common pronunciation now for GB English is that long ear instead of the diphthong. Um, so there you have it. Um, it is a really important vowel. It's a very common vowel. It's second after the schwa, really. Um, and, you know, there's, there's several tricky things about it.